Hello everyone, this video I'm gonna do a unboxing and first impression of the Oracle M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. This is model number M2 PV-C3 uh, which comes with uh, USB Type-C uh, connectors. Okay, and uh, um, so let's open up the packaging and we're gonna take a look and then maybe I'll just do a very quick informal speed test uh, using one of the SSDs that I have laying around. So this is uh, everything that came in the box. I laid it out very quickly for you guys to see. Um, this is the SSD enclosure itself, M.2, and make sure it's NVMe or what they call, make sure you have a VNAD NVMe type SSD because if you have a SATA type SSD the the notch is not going to be compatible with the notch on, on this one and you're not going to be able to use it on this NVMe type SSD enclosure okay so make sure you're getting the correct type of enclosure for the correct type of the SSD that you have laying around with that said this is the enclosure itself uh, if you guys are wondering the the only piece that's metal is the heat sink everything else the enclosure on the bottom and on the sides are all very kind of cheap looking plastic okay it's nothing fancy besides a kind of aluminum heat sink on top you also get two two cables which is pretty generous you get a regular usb type c to usb c um, or usb 3.0 connector and you have a USB Type-C to Type-C for, I guess, more modern um, computers and laptops you have laying around. They give you a little tool, which is a Torx screw, to unscrew the, uh, the screw over here to open up the SSD enclosure, uh, which I'm gonna do it right now. And that's unscrewed. And also, last but not least, you have your user manual a heat sink uh, transfer paper, I guess, which is for you to actually put on the IC chip on your SSD. Like the IC chip is some, sometimes here and that's the memory components. You put it over here because that's the part that's gonna generate a lot of heat. You put this transfer thing over here and then that in turn would help disperse heat onto the heat sink right here, okay? Otherwise the heat sink itself is actually not touching the your SSD at all okay you need this piece of paper to transfer the heat there are two little rubber parts which i don't necessarily know what are they for i would think it's probably used as a support for the bottom of the ssd um, maybe but again uh, let's find out what's inside the enclosure with the screw removed you can just pop this open. It's not a sliding mechanism. It's just, you know, simply pop open like that. And again, this is an aluminum piece right here. There's a little hole here. I don't know what's it for. It might be reserved for a uh, LED light, which is right here. So I guess that's an LED indicator light. Um, so you'll be able to see some sort of indication uh, when the device is running. So that's actually kind of nice. This is a PCB board. It's, it looks pretty um, pretty standard um, and the board itself is fully removable okay there's nothing holding on to this board it's fully removable uh, you can probably just use this as is without the enclosure if you want but I would suggest put the thing in the enclosure just to protect everything as a whole uh, so <clears throat> the interesting thing is I guess the IC chip the controlling chip that a lot of those USB enclosures uh, use. So this one actually has a Realtek controller chip, which from my little research is more stable, faster transfer uh, compared to the Micron or J Micron controlling chip. So that chip, I guess a lot of people are trying to avoid because it's problematic, but this chip, apparently according to the reviews, it's a better IC chip for the uh, enclosure, okay? So um, I'm gonna actually just leave this in here 
and uh, I'm actually gonna try to peel this off and just put it on my uh, SSD really quick. And by the way, the reason I bought this is because I upgraded my computer SSD from the 950 Pro to 980 Pro and doubled the storage space for my PC. So this one actually right now is just laying around and I'm like, why not just use this, you know, for my work, for travel, that I can store a lot of photos in here and without, you know, a bulkiness of a standard traditional SSD drive or, you know, a hard disk based SSD drive, which is a great, a great alternative to use your old SSD chips that you upgraded from your PC, okay? All right, I quickly put the heat sink or the heat transfer paper thing on the uh, SSD and now I'm gonna actually just push it down and close the enclosure. All right, so I put the SSD drive in there. Now it's pretty much ready to go and I am gonna test the transfer speed really quickly. So the program we're gonna use, of course, is the pretty much gold standard Crystal Disk Mark. This is the newest version, 8.0.4. And uh, I actually plugged in the, um, the enclosure, the M.2 enclosure, and it recognized the enclosure immediately, and it recognized um, my disk also immediately. So I am just gonna go ahead and, and test the drive and see what the performance is when this SSD is actually uh, mounted into a external USB-C drive. In this particular case, the Oracle M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure, okay? All right, so I just finished doing the uh, Crystal Disk Mark test on this brand new uh, SSD enclosure with my Samsung uh, 950 Pro uh, M.2 SSD installed in there. As evident from the speed test, it's actually performing at the maximum uh, potential of the random, I guess, large data random read and write speed. And it's performing pretty decent for smaller data sizes as well. I would say it's well within my expectation on how this SSD, SSD should perform in this uh, USB enclosure. And to that point, I should say this enclosure is working exactly as it advertised and it's supporting my uh, SSD perfectly fine without any issues. Um, and would I recommend it to anybody else? Um, for the short amount of time that I'm using it, yes, but I really cannot comment on the long-term durability of the SSD drive. Uh, I can only hope that it's gonna last for a long time. Uh, granted, this SSD enclosure only cost me, I think, $17. So it, it's not expensive, so I wouldn't feel too bad if it breaks, but I hope it can last me for a long time. And I'm sure you guys are probably wondering what the temperature of the enclosure is after an intensive read and write session. By the way, you look that little hole, that's where the LED is. I'm gonna do another speed test, and then at the end of the speed test, I'm gonna actually measure the temperature on the surface of the heat sink, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and do another test really quick. And this time I'm just gonna run every test once. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's reading the data. So when it's reading the data, uh, the LED blinks to let you know that the data is being um, re read or written. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna show you guys the test result. Now, the other test I did earlier uh, is using a USB Type-C port. Now, this test that I did is using a USB 3.0 port, which is a slower port compared to the newest Type-C standards, which is, I think, USB 3.2 or whatever it's called. So um, again, this is actually what's what's it like when you use the other included adapter, which is a Type-C to the USB uh, 3.0 port. So with that port, your maximum speed is definitely affected. It's gonna be slower compared to using the Type-C to Type-C. Uh, to achieve the highest speed possible. So that's something to keep in mind as well. 
while it's doing the test, I have my thermostat right here. I'm gonna measure the temperature of uh, where that IC chip is, which as you guys can see, it's 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see if I can change the, which is 40.6 degrees. Now it's still getting hot because um, the test is still running. So as you can see, the, the hottest part, actually the heat spread is pretty even. Um, I just show you guys, it's pretty even across the heat sink. It's all around like it's above 40 degrees Celsius for sure. And uh, let's see, what about the plastic part? The plastic part is actually running less hot and only because most of the heat is actually transferred to the top of the uh, of the drive. Let's see the back. And the test is already finished running, so um, the, again, the back is not as hot. Again, most of the heat is already transferred to the heat sink. So the heat sink itself is definitely doing its job. Okay, so this, this enclosure definitely works as advertised, if that's what you guys are wondering. Yes, you'll get maximum performance depending on the kind of port uh, you're going to be using it for. And uh, let's see, so look at the test. So this is going to be the speed with USB 3.0. And the speed test we did before is USB Type-C, which is 3.2. So that sums up the video of uh, the quick unboxing and first impression and a kind of performance test, informal performance test of this little SSD enclosure with my Samsung uh, 950 Pro SSD in there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below, and I'll try my best to answer it for you guys. And if you want to purchase it, I also have a link in the description down below where you can buy it on Amazon. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.